Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will improve on a previous script that I did to manipulate SharePoint using PowerShell. I have an array here of departments, and then I have the for each loop that goes through those departments and creates a generic list for each and every one. So that's what I have been doing. But as you see, I am sending the department name twice here, the list URL and the list name. And of course, less is more. And if I can make this function a little bit smarter, so that's a good thing. So to do that, I'm going to show two things. First of all, I'm going to show how to declare your variables as a specific type of variable. By default, all variables start with a dollar sign in PowerShell, and they are variants. They can be anything. So you can declare this depth could be a number, it could be an integer, it could be an object, or it could be a string. But we know that this list name and this list URL is always going to be a string. And if it isn't, then we want to receive an error or we want it to be converted into a string. We do all that by just putting string here before the list name. That is called declaring or typing your variable. You're declaring it by simply giving it a name in PowerShell, but here we are typing it. So now those two variables are declared as strings. So now we can also check if they have a value. We could do that before also. But now we know that it's always going to be a string, so it's going to be very easy to do so. Then we're going to do an if statement here. So if the list URL, if that is nothing, if we haven't sent that, equals. So if there's no parameter there, then it's going to be an empty string. So if statements, as you see, they also have these curly brackets. An if statement always has a parentheses here, and within that parentheses, there is a statement that can be evaluated as true or false. So either list URL is equal to an empty string, two double quotes, or it will not be. So that will evaluate to true or false. If it's true, then whatever is inside these curly brackets will be executed. If it's false, then it will jump over that. So if that list URL is empty, then we want to set the list URL to the list name. But we can make this even smarter. And since we now know that this is a string, we can use all the string functions such as replace. We can replace if there are any spaces in that list name. Replace that with nothing. That means we take away the spaces. We could also be a little bit more consistent and make it lowercase. So we can do that thing again, because of course now we have a string again. So with that string that we get from the replace function, we can get it to lowercase. There we go. So now the list URL is always going to be a list name without the spaces and in lowercase if it hasn't been supplied specifically. All right, so that's good. Now we've made the function smarter. That means that in this case down here, we can actually remove that entire parameter. We can ignore that parameter like that. So now if I do this and just introduce this function again or run it, run that selection, now PowerShell knows what that function is. Now I can just go ahead and run this code here. Uh, let's see if I already have anything in here. Otherwise, I won't be able to create them, of course. No, it's all empty there. Good. All right. So let's run that now and run that bit. And now it's creating my lists with the proper URLs. Let's check that. Let's see. There we go. IT, and it's a lowercase IT in the URL. So that's working. It's still giving me that uh, good URL. Let's uh, test that again. So let's do create my list. Now we can do a hello world again with a space like that. And now I'm, uh, I'm just sending one parameter with a space. So that's going to, of course, going to be the first one. So it's going to be the list name, but we're not sending a list URL. So now if I run that code, F8 again, there we go. Now it's creating the list hello world. Beautiful. And let's refresh that. And now we have the hello world and the URL is lowercase without the space. So that works beautifully. So in this demo, we have done several things. First of all, we have typed our variables. Uh, that's a good thing to do. 
And also we have done an if statement. That's also a really powerful programming uh, building block that you need to know. And we're going to be using that a lot in forthcoming demos. All right. Thank you for watching this demo.